barbarian. Ba -ba -barbarian. Ba -ba -barbarian. Ba -ba -barbarian. While Kim Possible was action packed with some drama, and Lilo and Sister's series was cute and harmless, Dave the Barbarian was. <laughs> Dave the Barbarian. This was the only show that I was dreading to revisit for this retrospective on Walt Disney Television animation that I've been doing. Well, not the only one. The Emperor's New School, more like the Emperor's a complete tool. From the intro and what I remembered, it seems as though it was going to be one of those shows that just tried too hard to be funny and make you laugh. Wow, another Family Guy joke. I must be the best critic of all time. But after a while, I decided to buckle down and watch it. I mean, it couldn't hurt. So, let's get into the story. There's this barbarian that goes by the name of Dave, who's the brother of Princess Candy, and... A chimp? For some reason? Oh, I'm sorry! Not my fault your mother fucked the monkey up the ass. The king and queen of the land of Utrecht go off to fight evil elsewhere, so they leave Candy in charge of the kingdom, while Dave and his family fight off the evil there. Alright, so the premise is really simple. And in my eyes, a premise can be as simple as it wants to be, as long as the characters are enjoyable to watch. Like in 2001's Winnie the Pooh, for example. For characters, we've got Dave, the strong, idiotic protagonist. He's like Johnny Bravo, but without the pedophilia. His dragon, Faffy, whose name is two letters away from a masturbation joke. Baby sister, Fang, who constantly gets mistaken for a primate. I just like to think that if she was just a little bit darker, that running gag would be terribly racist. Valley girl, older sister, Candy, who's the princess and... Insert joke here. Oswig, their uncle who was a funny Disney wizard before it became cool. And we can't forget Dave's big black sword, Lula. That is not a dick joke. I'll start off by saying that all these characters are freaking hilarious. Even characters like Candy that seem as though they're just there to be there get a lot of really funny lines. One of my favorite characters of the show isn't even actually a character, is the narrator. The narrator of Dave the Barbarian is one of the greatest cartoon narrators of all time. The interactions that he has with the characters is amazing. Usually in these shows I find somewhat of a dull character that's just there to be there, but all these characters are really likable and have their own sense of humor. The series gets most of its clever humor from fourth wall breaks, visual gags, sarcasm, and most importantly, innuendos. <laughs> My kind of humor. The animation is actually pretty decent. Yeah, you can tell it's limited and they were going for a more Ren and Stimpy movement style with how fast the characters change their emotions and all, but you don't ever feel like you're missing something. They actually make fun of how cheap the animation is, which is actually pretty funny. And so our heroes defeat the Muffin in an exciting battle, which we can't show you because it would be much too expensive for a cheap show like this. And now I bring up something that is both a pro and a con for the show. The series actually took a lot of risk. It didn't go for the normal kind of humor that makes kids laugh, but it went more for the humor for older kids. I actually respect the show for knowing that kids aren't always idiots. So now you're probably wondering, how is that a con, Toonwithic Tariq? Well, shut the fuck up and I'll tell you. Jeez. I consider this a con since Disney isn't known for taking risks, especially in their animated television series. Dave the Barbarian only lasted two seasons. I mostly figured that it's because it was unlike anything the company has ever made. But I bet if it was a cartoon cartoon or something, it would have lasted for at least 52 episodes. Disney is known so well for getting rid of the risk taking shows, which actually turned out to be some of their best programming. And yet, we still got Shark Tales animated series and Cat with a Tumblr. I don't get you, Mighty Mouse. Dave the Barbarian was a real shocker for me. I thought it was going to be one of those generic animated series that tries too hard to be funny and deserves to be forgotten. I would make a Family Guy joke here, but I already did that early. What I got though was an animated series lost in a mist of time and is way funnier than any of the remembered shows of today. Sure, it doesn't have strong character development or a cute likeness to it, but it will forever be known to me as one of the greatest forgotten animated series in recent memory. <laughs> See what I did there? Australia.